Here at BFBS, some of the stories I find seem to be straight out of Hollywood. Operation Chariot, the greatest commander raid ever, was a Royal Navy and commander operation at Saint-Nazaire in France. I'm going to try to tell you all about it in 60 seconds. But before that, here's some important stuff you need to know. During World War II, the Atlantic Ocean was important. The Royal Navy could operate from several ports in the UK, but the German Navy only had one dry dock. Saint Nazaire in France. The British wanted to cut this off. The RAF couldn't bomb the port due to the risk of civilian casualties. The Navy couldn't attack traditionally because Saint Nazaire was too far inland. So there was only one option left a commando raid. There were 265 commandos and 346 Royal Navy personnel against 5,000 German troops. But the Brits had a secret weapon. HMS Campbelltown. Right, let's do this. Saint Nazaire, the greatest commando raid ever, explained in 60 seconds. On the 28th of March, 1942, the raid started with a distraction from the RAF. They dropped bombs near the port of Saint Nazaire. At 0122 hours, HMS Campbelltown and the convoy were spotted just off the coast, but the ship identified itself as friendly and bought themselves a few more minutes. Eventually, the German defenders saw through the deception and opened fire, killing a helmsman, but there was no stopping her. At 0134, the ship, loaded with high explosives, rammed the Normandy dock. The explosives were on a timer to allow the British to escape. Commandos poured off the ground and ship and engaged the Germans. Demolition teams started destroying important equipment. Back at sea, most of the flotilla were destroyed by German gunfire, so there was no way for most to evacuate. The commandos who were left ashore started to fight through the town, but outnumbered and running out of ammo, they were captured. Seven and a half hours later, when a group of 40 senior German officers were aboard inspecting the ship, the explosive detonated, killing them and 320 others. The dry dock was destroyed. Wow, no wonder the raid at Saint Nazaire is often described as the greatest commando raid ever. Destroying the dock meant the Germans never sent their largest warships out into the Atlantic, where they could have wrecked havoc on Allied supply convoys. Hitler was furious and ordered a lot of resources to be used to strengthen the defences at other ports on the Atlantic Wall. Although the raid was a success, only 234 men returned to Britain, 169 were killed, whilst 215 were captured. 89 members of the raiding party were awarded medals for their bravery. Interesting fact, five men did escape from the town Saint Nazaire and made their way across France with the help of the French resistance and into Spain, which was a neutral country during the war. Thanks for watching this 60 second episode about the commando raid on Saint Nazaire. Make sure you subscribe for more of these ridiculously fast and squashed together overviews of military history in 60 seconds. <sighs>